Welcome to the video of the week where we look at the top 5% series. This is the series where if you follow these instructions then hopefully you'll finish in the top 5% globally at the end of the season and then you'll do all right in your mini league. So you're not exactly copying a content creator but you are following their instructions quite closely. I present a number of players and you pick from the players you want. And I thought this week I'd show you how somebody's actually getting on who's been following this. So we start by previewing what we can from game week 12 and then we look at what we're doing for game week 13. So as always we start with the bankers. We used to have four but we lost James through injury so we're down to three bankers. So all teams have these three players. That's Ward for Leicester, Martinelli and Haaland. Ward always starts on the bench and then Martinelli didn't play and Haaland didn't play. However, if you had Ramsdale then Ward would have come on. So for the keeper you either had Ward or you had Pope. If you had Ward, you got nine points. If you got Pope, you got six points. So you got at least six, maximum of nine, average of seven and a half for your keeper. Now, most of the players for game week 12, I can't actually do the average business because there are so many absentees, but I will still show you the best I can scores at the end. The defenders, you would have had two of these, Robertson, Cancelo, Perisic, Trippier. Robertson got one, Cancelo didn't play. Perisic got one, Trippier got nine. For the midfielders, you'd have had three of these. Anthony, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka, Zaha. Loads of people transferred out Madison last week because he wasn't playing. They're going to be missing out the next few weeks if he happens to get some nice points. So for these six midfielders, the scores were three, two, didn't play, didn't play, didn't play, eight. So not great. The two forwards, you'd have had two of these forwards. Jesus Tony, Mitrovic or Solanke and their scores were didn't play 2, 6 and 2. You would have all had I expect your bench come on and this is the order they appeared on the bench. So Andreas got 3, Justin 7, Gay 1, William 6, Bailey 0 and then Fofana and Patterson are injured at the moment. So they didn't play at all. So what I've had to do to estimate the scores this week is I've looked at the three teams that I know for sure are following the series and I'm just showing what their scores were, but normally I calculate these. So the minimum, the worst score was 32, the average was 39.7, and the best was 44. The global average for this week was actually 39. So they're actually doing okay, and I'm going to show you one of these teams now. So this team that I'm showing you now has been following this 5% series all season so far. Inventively called Celebrating Victory, so that's nice and optimistic. They got 44 points this week and this is their current team. Now I'm sure a lot of managers, if they're, if they're this team, they'd be thinking, oh, I'll change this player and that player. But the nice thing about this series is you just follow my instructions and you don't go meddling. And I'm aware that this person actually has a massive amount of money in the bank, but don't let that put you off. They've been doing all right and I'm sure the money will get spent shortly. So looking at the game week history... They started off just just inside the 3 million, but they've been having more green arrows than red. And they're currently at 293,000 out of over 10 million, coming up for 11 million overall. The transfer cost, you'll see all season, they've not had to pay any money for their transfers. So it's nice and easy to follow and the season's going all right for them. And the other two, I've not had their permission to show you their team, so I'm not actually going to show you their teams at the moment. If you do like this sort of video, please do subscribe. We currently have 181 subscribers, which is very exciting for me. So thank you to all the subscribers. The last video in this 5% series got 728 views and 28 likes. Thank you very much for the likes. I appreciate that. And thank you for comments. I got 18 comments. And I got a comic comment from Eric Easy. And he said, I've been subscribed to your channel ever since you were under 100 subscribers. A part of me wishes that you don't gain subscribers so I can keep your channel secret. So I thought that was a very nice thing to say. And I can understand your sentiment and maybe people shouldn't subscribe then. Or you could subscribe and just not tell other people. How's that? Game 13 transfers. Don't bother making any transfers. It may be next week we want to make two transfers, maybe three. But the team is okay at the moment. On your bench you're going to have Ward as your keeper. I'm now going to show you a number of players. The first player that you see that you've got goes number three on your bench. The next one, number two, and the last one, number one. Patterson's first on your bench, if you have him. Fofana, Nico Williams, Gay, Justin, 
Andreas, Tarkovsky and Bailey. I'm aware Bailey got zero points last time, got a yellow card, got pulled off before the end of the game. But Gerard's gone now. And more often than not, when a manager leaves a club, there's an instant bounce. So whoever's in charge this week, there's a chance Bailey's going to do right. But in any case, he's on the bench and there's a reasonable chance he's not going to come on for you. Right, your captain for this week, Haaland. I think Haaland is probably the best person that you've got to captain. So the old mule hat goes on Haaland, as always. I know it's a broken record, but there we go. For vice captain, if you have Jesus, put the old mule hat on Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, but you have Mitrovic, put it on him. And if you have neither of those, then you will have Tony, in which case Tony's your vice captain for this week. And there we have it. That's for game week 13, the 5% series. If you're not part of this 5% series at the moment, but you think you'd like to join in, then in game week 17, which starts Boxing Day, you can completely change all your players so you'll be able to match your team to this and then just follow us each week and hopefully finish quite well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.